So the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S23 Ultra represent the best that Apple and Samsung have to offer. So let's see what happens when you put these phones against each other in a real-world speed test comparison. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 3 nanometer chip compared to 4 nanometers on the S23 Ultra, so on paper that might give the iPhone a tiny edge. But does it actually matter? Well, let's dive in and find out. We're breaking this test down into 7 rounds covering everything from app speed to productivity to rendering to see who comes out on top. So let's start with the good old boot up test. Unlike in laptops where startup times are important, on phones however it's not really a big deal because it's something you rarely do on a day to day basis. But still, if you're wondering, the iPhone 15 Pro Max boots up a little faster than the S23 Ultra. So the first round goes to the iPhone. Next we have a productivity round because phones aren't just for using social media apps. We'll use Microsoft's Word and Excel for this. Here is a mammoth Excel sheet with 50,000 rows with complex entries and as you can see the S23 Ultra was way quicker than the 15 Pro Max. The iPhone took a full 10 seconds more than the S23 Ultra. Next is a big 500 page Word document and as you can see both of them are taking their time but it's the 15 Pro Max that's quicker here. The S23 Ultra is just a couple of seconds slower so this round is a draw. Moving on to photo and video rendering, we'll use the same 1 minute 4K video file on both phones and interestingly as you can see the 4K 30fps video output file on the S23 Ultra is not only bigger in size but also in bitrate compared to the iPhone so the S23 Ultra could have a disadvantage here. But surprisingly the S23 Ultra smokes the iPhone and renders the video way faster. And what's interesting is that the iPhone took 28 seconds more to render the same video which is a massive difference. Then I tried a different app called Filmora and suddenly the 15 Pro Max decided it wanted to win when the export quality was set to 720p. Now for the photo rendering I've used Snapseed and I've applied tons of effects for this high resolution image. I've applied the same effect on both phones and as you can see the S23 Ultra is again faster here in rendering the image. So the photo and video rendering round goes to the S23 Ultra. Now app opening time. Let's start with Twitter which loads faster on the S23 Ultra. In earlier Samsung phones Twitter used to stutter but not on the S23 Ultra. It's buttery smooth on both phones. Next the S23 Ultra demonstrated a speed advantage on apps like YouTube, Instagram and eBay. When it comes to Reddit as well as Quora, it's the same story, the S23 Ultra is faster than the iPhone. The official UFC app for MMA fans is faster on the Galaxy. But the ESPN app loads up faster on the 15 Pro Max. When it comes to Play Store or App Store, the S23 Ultra is faster. But the iPhone loads up Spotify at a faster rate. But not when it comes to YouTube Music. The abandoned Threads app is also faster on the Galaxy. The stock camera app on both phones is about the same. So the S23 Ultra dominates this round winning in 10 out of 13 apps. Next is a browser test. We'll open UFC's official website on both phones on Google Chrome and as you can see the S23 Ultra is noticeably faster here. Next is a gaming test starting with Subway Surfer which loads up faster on the S23 Ultra. Next is Flip Diving which is a fraction of a second faster on the S23 Ultra. The same story continues when it comes to Forward Assault which also loads up a little faster on Samsung's phone. The Angry Birds 2 is faster on the iPhone. When it comes to graphic intensive games such as Asphalt 9, the S23 Ultra comes out on top. Call of Duty Mobile is another heavy game. And the S23 Ultra is again a fraction of a second faster here. So the gaming round also goes to Samsung. Finally we have the RAM management test. The S23 Ultra has 12 gigs of RAM while it's 8 gigs on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But both of them have managed to keep all the apps open. So who's the champ of this showdown? Out of 7 rounds the iPhone 15 Pro Max clinched only one and two ended in a tie. The S23 Ultra takes the crown as the fastest mainstream smartphone on the block winning 4 rounds. 
Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.